Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Speaking of EUV lithography machines, I believe everyone is familiar with them. As a device that must be used in the production process of high-end chips. EUV lithography machines have only one supplier in the world, ASML of the Netherlands. The reasons are mainly divided into two aspects. First, the supply of objective lenses and workbench systems is subject to external trade controls, and few countries can purchase parts that match EUV lithography machines. If you produce them yourself, you will face a lot of initial R&D investment, so it is better to buy ready-made EUV lithography equipment from ASML. Second, the equipment is protected by many technical patents. Even if you purchase relevant parts, you cannot bypass the patent barriers carefully designed by ASML during the production process. Previously, ASML of the Netherlands sued Dongfang Jingyuan for patent infringement. It is not difficult to see that these two reasons have dissuaded more than 99% of the world's companies. Even if the company can have dozens of times the profit return after the successful imitation, few companies dare to challenge the authority of ASML of the Netherlands in the field of EUV lithography. But now is different from the past. The blockade of the high-end chip industry by the United States is no longer limited to external chip foundry channels. Even slightly more advanced equipment from semiconductor equipment manufacturers, such as ASML in the Netherlands, is prohibited from being shipped to Chinese manufacturers. Domestic EUV lithography machines and other equipment have almost become the only way for China to solve the problem of high-end chip foundry. With the joint cooperation of many domestic manufacturers, news about domestic EUV lithography machines has finally come out. According to reports released by Taiwanese media, mainland China's domestic EUV lithography machines will enter the trial production stage in the third quarter of this year. The machines use a lithography solution different from ASML in the Netherlands and are expected to break ASML's long-term monopoly in this field. If the news is true, it means that China will achieve the gradual production of chips below 7 nanometers as early as the second half of next year. With SMIC's technical reserves in the field of chip foundry, the mass production problem of 5 nanometer chips will be solved within the next two years. By then, more than 95% of chip foundry needs can be met by domestic equipment. According to previous reports released by domestic authoritative media, Harbin Institute of Technology in China has developed 13.5 nanometer extreme ultraviolet light source technology in the laboratory. The laser-driven light source developed by Shanghai Institute of Optical Precision of the Chinese Academy of Sciences can achieve an efficiency of 3.42%, which is lower in energy consumption and occupies less space than the driving equipment of ASML in the Netherlands. The reserves of these technologies are all paving the way for the advent of domestic EUV lithography machines. At present, 
The lithography solution used by ASML EUV lithography machines in the Netherlands is to bombard the dripping tin droplets with a wavelength of 13.5 nanometers and then collect enough extreme ultraviolet light to etch chips. The light source provider is Cyma Company in the United States, which is a key component of EUV lithography machines. If the most difficult light source problem is solved in China, the subsequent workbench and objective lens system will be relatively easy to solve. In the past two years, there have been rumors of building lithography factories in China to generate, collect, extreme ultraviolet light through very large devices to realize the lithography process of chips. Although the feasibility of this device has not been confirmed, it can be seen that China has begun to solve the bottleneck problem of high-end lithography machines in a multipath and systematic manner. At present, the foreign blockade of the domestic semiconductor industry is a comprehensive and extremely strict model. Not only is the overall import of high-end equipment strictly controlled, but China is also unable to import some sensitive components. The good thing is that China is taking a national route, combining upstream and downstream manufacturers of the entire industry chain to overcome the technical blockade of high-end EUV lithography machines. Unlike the efforts of a single Western company, the research and development and mass production time of domestic EUV lithography machines will be greatly reduced. There is still no official media confirmation on the production date of domestic EUV lithography machines. However, judging from the gradual return of Huawei Kirin chips, the bottleneck status of domestic high-end chips has been alleviated. The worst situation is that China has imitated equipment similar to ASML, but for various reasons it cannot be announced in public, and chips can only be put into production in strictly confidential factories. But the indisputable fact is that the bottleneck problems encountered by domestic chips have been gradually solved. When the domestic EUV lithography machine is officially announced, it will be the time for the United States to regret. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message and discuss.